Hello everyone. I hope and pray that everyone is doing well in my household. I thank God that we are. Today's video is different. This is a DIY laundry detergent. It is great for all machines, including high efficiency washers. This is a great way to relieve stress, save money and live healthy. When you try this recipe, please drop me a comment and let me know what you think. I love hearing from you guys. Links to the products I use in this video are gonna be in the description box below. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It's totally free. And hit the notification bell to be alerted when I post a new video. You won't regret it. As always, don't forget to like and share this video with five people you know. And remember, all written recipes can be found on my website at www.ketoandlee.us. Now, let's get into it. All right, so now we're gonna make our laundry detergent. So in here, I have three cups of water. I'm gonna bring that to a boil. So while that's boiling, you can go ahead and cut this into thirds. This is the laundry soap that I'm gonna to use to make our laundry detergent. I cut it into thirds, so three pieces, right? Even as possible. And I grated it. You can do this in a food processor by a knife or you can do as I did and I excuse me and I use the grater so once this water boils we're gonna go ahead and add this a little bit at a time we're gonna reduce the heat and we want a rolling simmer and I'll show you what that looks like now that the water is boiling I'm gonna take my what is that called Fells naphtha bar and I'm just gonna add it little by little Okay, now I'm going to reduce the heat to medium and I'm going to stir this. Now you don't want it on high heat, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce it to a medium low heat. Um, you want it to melt, sorry guys. So you want it to melt, but you don't want it to boil like that because it'll be a huge mess it's soap so it'll make a soapy mess so what I'm gonna do is stir every so often so stir frequently but once it's melted then we can move on and add the washing soda and the borax so we'll come back when this is melted so that you can see what that looks like okay. so I don't know if you can see this I'm trying not to get right over the pot but it's all melted like there were a few little stragglers and I waited so now it's all melted and now to this I'm gonna go ahead and add the washing soda so the washing soda measurement is half a cup do it a little bit at a time because it will foam up because it's soap and what you want to do is reduce the heat to low so before you do that you should have done it okay Sorry, camera again. Sorry guys, first time recording doing this on camera. You don't want it to clump up and that is why I am using the whisk. See how it's thickened so beautifully. Now once this dissolves, I'll add the borax or vice versa. Okay. And you can feel it on the bottom. Be a little gritty on the bottom, meaning it's not dissolved. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the borax, a little bit at a time. So if you don't completely dissolve these, what'll happen is you'll still have soap. However, it will be gritty. The, the texture will be gritty and it'll, Stain your clothes. So you want to not skip this important part in making sure that it's all dissolved. Alright, so I'll show you what that looks like when we come back. 
forgive the background noise guys everybody's home and they're watching a movie so i do not own rights to the movie i'm not going to tell you which one now here we have the melted mixture everything's melted so what i've done is i went ahead turned off the stove and it just melted so in this bucket there's three gallons of water so what i'm doing is just pouring it little by little because you want to be safe guys and i like to just do this no more get all the goodies okay put this in the sink and now i'm gonna stir it so now this is where we allow it to sit overnight so it has to sit for 24 hours so once that happens which will be tomorrow i'll be back show you the last step all right you guys so it has been 24 hours this is our laundry detergent see the solids and stuff have separated a bit so what we can do to make sure that it's thoroughly mixed and that this doesn't occur we are now going to blend it much like we did with the if you haven't seen that video yet i don't know if i'll post it before this one or after but we did the same thing with our dishwashing soap okay so we're gonna blend it you can use an emulsifier just like that one right there or you can um use a big spoon my, i have issues uh tendonitis with my arm so i'm going to use this big old contraption that i'm going to show you in a minute and it can be bought at home depot Lowe's. i don't know if walmart carries it but it is my husband's he never used it so i am gonna steal it from him anyways let's get to it don't mind my my stack of dishes what happens during quarantine here is the contraption I was talking about. You connect it and then it spins. So let's get right to it. So I'm kind of going up and down. It's all well blended. It smells very fresh. All right, this right here is three gallons of laundry detergent. And let me look at my notes really quick just to see the measurement because I think, oh, yeah, you just fill the little um, soap dispenser like you normally would um, with your soap. And this is good for GE uh, washers as well. So you don't have to worry. Look at that. You see the thickness in it right there? Boom. The kids are coming up. So I got to let you guys go. Be sure to comment if you make it. Any suggestions on anything else you'd like to see, let me know in comments below. If you have questions, let me know in comments below. I'll talk to you guys soon. And... Thanks for watching, and please stay safe out there. Until next time, stay well. And look how smooth, the, all the soaps, they all dissolved very nicely. Nice and thick. So what I wanted to show you is when you're filling your gallon, leave some space in there in case the bubbles come up, because look, as you can see, these bubbles start coming up. So just in case that happens to you.